Hey, it's Dan Nickerson, and I get a lot of questions about additional CSS. People want to know what it is, you know, how it works, and uh, they also ask me all the time for little custom mods or how to fix this or how to change the font color or how to do add a little padding here and there or something. And so I thought this video would be helpful, and I'll try to make this uh, try to make this quick. And so first off, uh, this is a Socrates demo install, a very basic setup um, with some sample posts and content. If you're in Socrates, you go in the customizer. You're going to see we have all these different options for things like all these different color options, right? And we have all these different um, uh, fonts and size options and so forth. But people sometimes will have, want to change something that's not in the custom option and it's such a rare request that I don't want to add it in the custom option. So here's how to fix those things. And also this will be a very good lesson on how to use um, CSS to make a site look the way you want it to look that maybe you're not familiar with. And it all starts with like the greatest design trick in the book, which is if you want to know what CSS or is and how it controls a design all you have to do in Chrome is click on right click so actually let me go to sample page as an example I'm gonna right click on this and click on inspect and when I do that you're gonna see the code that controls this entire page right so this is the page title right here so if I want to change this font to say 55 pixels I can change it like that and I'm gonna see the design change instantly if I want to change the color to the blue, I can see that and it change. It'll change instantly. Now, if I wanted to, I could just use the customizer to change this stuff. However, with additional CSS, you can actually just copy the code like so and paste it in additional CSS and it's going to change on the site as it is. Now, this won't change if you're this only changes in my browser right now until I click on publish. Once I click on publish, then it will go live everywhere. But once again, I can go in here and click on like 85. I want to make it big. I can I could change this color to a red if I wanted to change it to a red like that, right? And so that'll change it. If I only want the title, you can see I have all these different things here. I can just copy and go back here, and it's going to be only, actually only the page title, right, is going to be red. Those won't be red. So that is how you change a page title. You can do the same thing with a post title. You can just click on Hello World, for example, and you can right-click on it and you'll see it says this is the uh, blog post single title so if I wanted to I could go in here um, I could paste that and I could say uh, font size is 100 pixels and it's huge uh, now if I publish this I'll click on publish right and it'll be live on the website and you're gonna see that every post is gonna show this huge title now what most people don't know is that you can do uh, post specific targeting so if I want to grab this code which I already saved, um, the hello world post is post ID 1. If I add this here and click on, what did I do wrong here? Let me click on publish. That should change back. Let me go to hello world. Oh, I still have this in here. Uh, I'm going to change this. Okay, so I just changed that and click on publish. Now this is post ID blog post single title and that is this one. If I click on scheduled, it's going to be the normal size. See? and the tiled gallery it's the normal size because I'm targeting this post ID specifically and I can do the same thing with a page title so if I want to target a specific page only change the CSS on that specific page I can do that as well and this is the code for that so this would be page ID equals 2 right and so that will only change on I gotta get rid of this and I'll get rid of that and if I do that and I go to parent page it's the normal size. So once again, you can do page or post specific targeting. And to find those targeted codes, you would just go into the post or page editor. editor. And if I go to here, like hello world, it says post equals one, right? So that's the post ID. If I go to pages and click on this one, for example, it'll say post equals 1086. So if it's a page, it's a page ID in the code. If it's a post, it's a post ID in the code but the post number is here, or the post or page number is the same. This post equals both, right? So that is how you target specifically page IDs and post IDs using custom CSS. Let's go back here. I want to show you another little tip. I'm going to try to keep this, this video short. Uh, one thing I like to change is when I use a sticky post. You know, this is obviously I'm using old import content. You can see the sticky post is from 2013. Well, I don't want to show that, do I? That's really old. But I do want to show here. So how do I resolve that? How do I... Uh, only hide the date on the sticky post. Well, there's code for that. So I can go in here and take the code, and it is actually sticky. I need to add a period here. And I go like this, 
and it just hides the date. So I just hid the date from everything but the sticky post because a sticky has its own CSS. So I click on inspect. You're going to see here that it'll, it'll show like sticky is in here. So you see it's like sticky is part of the div class for here, which means I can change the code because sticky is in here. So it's just a little tiny trick there. And so a couple of things to show you. So when you're looking at code, like this is the full content right here. There's the padding. It'll show you everything in here. It'll show you the column widths. You know, maybe you're a real stickler. You want the column width to be 66.50. You know, well, you can change that here if you want, and then you would just copy this code and drop it in here, like so. That's how that works. Uh, so what else can I show you? If you want, if you want to hide a whole element, like maybe there's something you want to hide completely, you could go in here and just look at different codes. Let me go. Let me go scroll down. Like copyright, for example. Maybe you don't want this copyright at all. If I click on inspect, it's going to show me that the code for this is footer copyright. So I can actually just copy that like this. I can drop it in here. Oop, didn't copy it. I'll just type it in. It's footer copyright. Come on. And I'm going to do display none. Now this may, as you can see, it's gone. So this may freak you out. You may think, well, this is way too complicated for me. Um, well, once again, most of these options are controlled in the Socrates Customizer. Anyhow, I'm just trying to show you how to do little tweaks here and there. One more example, no comments. Sometimes people don't want the comments to show up, right? You can see it says post meta comments. So I can copy this, dot, post meta comments, display, none. And that hides the comments link from all the posts, but keeps the date and the content and, and the categories. Make sense? You can do other things like if you, like I don't have borders on the buttons. Maybe you like border radiuses on the buttons. So I could go in here to this code right here. And if I wanted to, I could just say, well, what does a border radius look like? So I can go border radius. Border, this is how you add the little rounded buttons. And I could go like five or four pixels. And I just change the border. See that? If I go like 15, you'll see it, or 13. See how that changes to a rounded button? And then if I want that rounded button, all I've got to do is go in here and copy this down, hit Control C, paste here, and now I have rounded buttons as soon as I click on Publish. So I hope this was helpful. I do want to share that um, whenever I see things that aren't in the customizer that should be, um, I typically add them to the theme, but they're also on here. So this is CSS code and tricks. So if you're looking for code that does certain specific things, uh, like how to hide featured image above a single post title, you can add it here. Uh, how to hide the continue read button or change text, you can add it here. And you just to get this code, if you want to grab any of this code, you can just go in here and just click on this little icon, view source, and then click on copy. And then you go back, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff. Paste that there, and you can see I just moved that down. Maybe I just want to move this down, way down, this 50px down, right? So uh, on speaker theme in particular, if you, you might want to just adjust your site title a little bit. So this is a perfect code to do it, just margin top equals 5px. Um, other th questions people ask me is, and if, by the way, just as from a design standpoint, if you want to play around with design, here's the navigation, right? This is the navigation background. I can go in here and then I can, what did I do wrong? Should change on me. Uh, there we go. Something's. Did I add some extra code? Oh, never mind. That's why. So this is the code. If I want, if I just want to play with this, I could go like this and change different colors and get just the right color match that I want. And once I see I really like this color, I could just grab navigation background equals like this, and then you have the background. Uh, but once again, just last thing before I close. Make sure it's not in here first. So you can go in here and you control the navigation background right from here. So anyhow, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't be afraid to play with this website. Until you click publish, nothing is live. So right click, you learn how to do this code. You can just click around. It's going to show you all the different code on the right. Copy it, figure out how to make changes, and you're off and running. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks.